Hi, this is Patrick with Shazibo, and in this video we're going to talk about imported, inexpensive, ready-made shade sails, and what's the difference between these and a full custom shade sail that's made to order just for you. When would you choose one versus the other, and uh, the pros and cons of each. So shade sails, if you're watching this video, you're, you're familiar with what they are, what they kind of look like. They, they're great at providing shade, they look awesome, they can really look like art if done well, and they can look terrible, they can look really bad, and they can be dangerous if, if not done properly. So we're gonna talk about how to make this look good, and then when do you take the leap and invest in a, in a custom shade sail? I'd like to give you an analogy. It's like a swimming pool. The, the ready-made, imported, cheap shade sails are like an above ground pool, comes in a box, you, you, it's a couple hundred bucks, take it home, you set it up within a day and, and you have a great time, right? If it's hot out, you can splash around, kids are gonna love it. But sometimes you want the next level up and like a swimming pool, the next level would be to hire a contractor, put an in-ground custom pool where you can choose all the details, that's just like a shade sail. Uh, for a custom sale, you can do it yourself, but the best product is one that's designed and installed by a contractor or someone who's been trained in all the uh, aspects of, of good shade sale design. One has more options, you can uh, tailor it to your needs, and the other one is ready-made, it's standard. You, you take this and adapt it to your setting. There's three main points to make about uh, installing a, a ready-made shade sail that makes it look great. And I'll tell you what those three tips are. The first tip is that you have to have a strong attachment point. So shade sails are tensioned fabric. Tension meaning there's no frame in it, right? All the strength comes from the corner. And we'll pull this one out. So yeah, this one actually comes with rope and uh, and little D-rings. So all the, the only thing holding this up is the tension that you pull on this corner. Well, whatever your attachment point is has to pull with, with an opposite amount of force. So when a storm rolls in 30, 40 miles an hour uh, in the south, maybe even a hurricane wind, there can be hundreds or thousands of pounds of force pulling on this, wanting to rip your fascia off, pulling out of brick. Brick is a terrible uh, place to mount a bracket, pulls fences over. So you have to have a strong attachment point to make this ready-made shade sail look good. The second point that I'd like to make is you have to have a strong attachment point to install this sail. So resist the temptation of using a wooden post. So wooden posts, you know, you can, you can find them anywhere, Home Depot, Lowe's, woods everywhere, right? It's easy, there's a big temptation. I'll just put a, I can put a six by six in, I can put an eight by eight in, it doesn't matter. Wood will tip in over time as it gets wet, as weather works on it. It takes not even a year. And that post that was, was straight is now maybe a half an inch in, maybe an inch tipped in, because the sail's pulling all the time, right? And, and wood is not, uh, it moves, it, it flexes, it changes over time. So the second point is don't, don't use a wooden post. If you're gonna go down this journey of, of a ready-made shade sail, you have to have strong attachment points, or they're gonna look like the, the examples that we have in this video where they're flopping around, they're dangerous. You come back over a weekend, they've fallen down. It, they just look, they look bad when they're, when they're done poorly. The third point to remember, if, now the goal is to make this cheap shade sail look good, and, and they can look good. So the third point is that you have to have strong attachment points. Uh, there's a common theme going here, right? And not trying to be funny, just trying to make the point that if you're going to do a good job with this, you have to have strong attachment points. You're probably going to spend more on those than you did on the sale. So we're in Southern California and I took dirt bike lessons from a, from a great guy, Gary LaPlante. Uh, he had a school in, uh, here in Southern California, and he told this story, he's a great storyteller. When you first learn to ride a dirt bike, you're in this warehouse. Imagine you're in a warehouse, and you, there's all these fun things you can do. You can go fast, you can turn corner, right? Pretty soon your dirt bike is, is the best thing you've ever, you've ever done. And then you look over in this warehouse and you see this door. 
You're like, what's behind that door? And you go through, it's a whole new warehouse. You can, you can do wheelies, you can jump, you can have much more fun than you ever thought you could in that first warehouse. Same with, same with shade sales. This is the first warehouse. This provides shade. They can look nice. This, you can have fun with this, just like an above ground swimming pool. But if you want to go to the next level, the next level is a custom shade sale. You go through that door into a new warehouse, it becomes art. Uh, it lasts for many years, it can withstand storms. Uh, it's a whole different level. And like I said before, a different, really a different product than, than the standard shade sales. I'm gonna go over three main benefits and this time they are all different. Uh, the first thing, when you go with a custom shade sale, you're probably gonna hire a contractor to do the job for you. You're gonna get an expert that's on your side, that's gonna come out, uh, size up your situation, ask a lot of questions. Uh, they're gonna tailor this shade sale to your desires and needs, not necessarily what you need, but what you want. Do you wanna block this view? Do you wanna not block a view? Do you want shade in the morning, shade in the afternoon? That contractor is gonna help you achieve that result. The second main benefit of a custom shade sale is it's made for you. That They're not sitting on a shelf. They're not a standard size that, that you can pull a little bit more this way or that. When your contractor puts a design together and you guys agree, okay, that's what I wanna see, you get a custom shade sale, you have that peace of mind that it's done right. So we'll get to the third main benefit of a custom shade sale, that's peace of mind. So when you hire a contractor and they, they size up your situation, order a shade sale specifically for that, it's gonna look great, but the peace of mind comes when, when you're out of town and a storm rolls in. Is it gonna be okay? Well, of course it will be if you hire a contractor to do it properly. And when you have uh, gatherings at your house and people come over, you, you have peace of mind that it's gonna look great. It's not gonna have, it's not gonna be whipping in the wind. It won't have fallen down. It's not gonna be a, a loose, sad, saggy sale. Another question I'll answer is why are custom shade sales so expensive? To do it right, we've invested in automation. We carry two to 300 unopened rolls of fabric plus all the open rolls. Our equipment is first class. We invest in our employees' happiness. I believe this is the right way to do business in America. Happy employees, the best product, the best tools. It costs more than imported shade sales, but it's worth it.